hello everyone welcome to web technology in this tutorial i'll show you how you can upload laravel project in cpanel so this is the laravel project i'll show you how you can upload it in cpanel so first of all you need to log into cpanel and the first thing you need to do is that you need to find the select pc version and uh, set it as the most current on I will set it as 7.4 and click over here set as current so um, after that I will go to my subdomain part which is over here you can also search them from here so I'll just click subdomain so I, I need to give a name for the subdomain I will name it as e-commerce So my subdomain name will be ecommerce.eminshackle.com which is my actual domain name eminshackle.com So I need to click create Okay our subdomain is created now I need to go back As you can see that over here you can see our subdomain so I'll go to my file manager this time I'll click file manager and uh, if I click uh, public HTML I will see that a folder named e-commerce now if we want to like upload your project into a main domain then you just have to upload it over here but since we are using subdomain so we will upload our project file inside e-commerce so first of all before uploading your project you need to make your project into zip format which I already make so I just click upload from here And I can select from here or I can also drag it from here so I'll just drag it and it will take uh, some time it depends on your project size so right now we'll set up our database so we'll go to over here mysql database we need to create a database for our project so I need to give a name so I'll name it as test and create database okay our database created which name is yaminsha test so let's go back and I will now create a user for my database I will name it as user so which which uh, name is user yaminsha user and I need to give a password I, now I will create user okay our user is created now I will assign the user to our database so our user is yaminsha user and our database was yaminsha test which was this one so I will just click add And then I will click over here all privileges go down and click make changes and then you will see a success option over here so our database is created so I will go to my cPanel again and then I will go to my PHP my admin now it will show me my, all the database I have now this is our database Yaminsha for our certain project now I will import 
our projects SQL file I mean the database which is this one so let's open it and just click go okay our database is updated so you can see that our database is updated and let's see okay it's also done hundred percent so let's go to our file manager again my laptop is a bit slow okay inside file manager public HTML and then e-commerce now I need to do a first I need to do is that I need to uh, extract this zip file so I'll just click zip extract extract files it will just take a more like 5 to 10 seconds normally now there is just only a few step left right now okay close it okay now I will just go inside it and uh, select all file and folder and I'll just move it to our project directory just to follow what I am doing okay all the files and folders are over here now I'll just delete it delete the zip because I don't need it anymore it will just take some extra space okay if you are using this for the first time you may not see the dot env or dot env dot example so for that you just need to go settings and click uh, show hidden files and save it so right now there is only just two things left you need to go inside public and click select all and then click move and just cut the public files public and click move files okay let's go back again okay this part is done now I need to edit my dot env I have to give the database name and my username so my database name was Username was user. Okay, now I'll give the password. Paste it over here. Happy URL. Okay, I think everything is set. It so let's save it. okay I forgot one more things uh, we again need to go need to go to file manager and then public HTML uh, e-commerce then we need to find index.php which was uh, which is over here and we need to edit it from here we just need to change at the 24 line we need to cut it from here and at the line 38 okay everything is set let's save it okay let's just put our website name and refresh okay here is our website everything is perfectly done 
and thank you very much for watching this video uh, if this video helps you please make sure to subscribe this channel and uh, if you have any problem please comment it below i will make sure to give you a reply thank you very much again for watching this video